Hey, me Flowbart here, and welcome. Alright, as the title suggests, we're working on a system for adding in emotes. And let's see here. You not it. It's probably going to be working. Nope, that's it. Um, don't want two players. Want one A new pie window. We'll take a few things out here like this. Me shoot the Uzi. You can see his playing on a. Uh, Stand on lone little monitor there. And. Mm, I'm probably going to go ahead and for now just remove this. This was the, uh, the theater system. Actually, what I'll probably do for now is just go back to a uh, regular map. This was supposed to be like a, a test for a combat arena. There's a camera that. Uh, displays on this over here what's going on in room 2 so let's actually just go in here and or just go to a temporary map select a viewport okay now one thing that's not working that I'm gonna come back on work on later is um, my character is yellow red whenever you go into combat and the reason why my character is yellow is because that's um, a default player. Um, what I was setting up is host and staff will be one color, regular players will be another color, and anybody in combat is going to be red. All still a temporary system, but yeah, whatever. Animations wise. 216 animations in here for the emote system. Probably going to end up making a series of montages for these so I can actually play the montages. Because some of these are actually going to be multi pieces, like three pieces, um, or three separate animations, like sitting down. I've got three other animations that I'll bring in, which I already have, for a sitting. But you got like a bow. Some of these, they're just singles. Oh, I really don't like that tooltip. Um, like bow bag transition. It's just a little short piece there. But something like this is kind of a curtsy. Kind of goes in and out from the default. This was an asset pack that I picked up from the marketplace when it was on sale for like 25 bucks. 25 bucks for 216 animations. Uh, well worth it. Um, gonna start off with push-ups, sit-ups, facepalm, little singles like that right there. But there's a couple different ways they can actually go about doing it. Let me sit up. Um, sit up start, where you actually get down, go into position. You're actually doing the sit ups. And then you get back up. So it's three pieces on that one. Push-ups, I believe, is the same thing. Three. But something like um, a sneeze. Ugh. Okay. That's just quick. You hammer it out. One little animation. A salute. Same thing. One animation does its thing. 
So I think for now what I'll do is go in here and do animation. Montage is going to be kind of a purplish color. So let's make a new folder. Montage. Right click. Set color. And now. New color. Similar, but let's make it Um, six should go in there and create a montage. It's kind of a bluish purple. I'm going to delete this anyway, but um, let's see here. Set color, new color. That's good enough. So we'll do that. So I can look and I can see by color what each one is, like textures, mesh, like static mesh or skeletal meshes or whatever else. And we'll delete that. Go back into pedestrian. Want to have at least one working montage. Uh, let's see here. Gotcha. Um, yeah, maybe salute. There's no E on the end. So what I'll do is I'm going to right click on it and I'm going to create animation montage. So we'll just add the M at the end, and I'm going to move that over to my montage folder. So now we have a montage for saluting. Okay. Next comes the menu. Because in here, in our world settings, we're all good, so I hit play. I want to be able to hit a key. Q or R would normally be a reload. T. I was actually doing something with T already. For now, let's use the F key. Because M would typically be a map. I'm, I'll work on a map later. So character, blueprint, player base. And I'm probably going to go ahead and do... Uh, sitting, mesh. What is this? That's the combat mode stuff. Admin menu. Was T. So let's come down here and I will do a keyboard F. And what we want to do is same basic principle here. Um, we're going to do a widget. So let's go ahead and create a widget. UI widgets and let's create widget blueprint which will be emote underscore W and for now it's not going to look fantastic I promise um, <laughs> it's just going to be very simple Let's throw in a voidical box. Let's anchor it to center. So this is definitely not going to be anything spectacular to look at. Um, 
first thing we want to do is we'll throw some text in here. Emote test. And we want that to be centered. And let's throw on a button. Text on a button. And what we're going to do is emote one. Salute. Again, not going to be very pretty. I'm going to copy and paste. Four. Let's go ahead and make it five. And just change the naming on it. Three. Probably about as much fun as watching grass grow at this point. Okay, so they're all going to say, um, for now, salute. Can change that to pending. So let's actually just go in here and control C. And once I add one to it, then I actually have something that's functional. Compile, save, and next thing I want to do is screw it. Let's actually add in add another button. With text in it, and we'll call this our exit button. And got it centered. And to make it easy, um, we want this to be yeah, we'll leave it like that for now. It's probably going to change a dozen times. Just need something for functionality. Compile and save. So now we can actually come in here actually yeah let's grab all this when we press it we want that to happen we want to open up our emote widget and have full control here. And here, go to our graph, our exit button. We don't need any of you junk for right now. On clicked. We want to remove from parent. But what we're also going to need to do is set input to game mode only. Get player controller.
and set show mouse cursor to fault. So we want to get rid of that menu and go back to normal. Set input to game. Okay. So if we hit play, in theory, we hit F, we have it now, hit exit, and we're back to normal again. So now when we hit the salute button, what I want to do is I think what I want to do is set it up to where for now Q will actually play the emote. F is actually going to set the emote to be the one we want for our, our default emote. So, for now, create a variable, default, emote, we want it to be animation montage, object reference. Up here, emote one on clicked. Let's cast to player underscore base, which is my player character. Learn how to spell, get player character. And set default emote. Hmm. We only have one currently, but let's set something else here. Do I have a data folder? Let's create one. Data. And what I want to do is... Hmm. Um, not a data table. <laughs> Ring table. Structure. Emote list. And only have one for right now. And we're going to call this Salute. It is an anim I think you type in montage. And it is that one. Now I can add more in here. And reason why I'm doing that is I have my emote list. Come in here and mode list type is going to be emote list. Compile and save, and now I can actually bring this in here. Get emote list. And there it is. It's the only one that I've got, but when I have more in here, I can actually just drag pins off of there. But what I want to do right now is I want to set my default emote to this whenever I select emote one. Now my player 
I'm gonna have to come back in here and drag. Not ready to use it yet. Let's do keyboard Q. And when we press that, we want to play montage or play animation montage. See, this is where I always screw up on it. And I'm going to have to go back and make sure that I do this so that it replicates. But I want to get it corrected. Get default animation montage. The default um, is empty. This may not be what I want. So if I hit Q, nothing's going to happen. If I hit F, I bring out the menu, hit that, to that, and I hit Q, nothing happens. Um, let's add in here a print text. Connect. Let's see. To text. Q. There's nothing there. None. So if I hit F. Salute M. Okay. So we know that it's it's working to this point. So let's actually delete that. Play anim montage. So we have nothing here. So we hit that and it says none. Hit F, hit that, Q again, and there we go. We'll play the montage and we're back. Um, but we're doing it while moving. Um, that's why I like the other one because when you, when you finish it, it does the thing. Um, so now what we need to do is get a reference to this guy. Let's move this out of the way. And what we want to do is deactivate. No. Set movement mode to none. Control C and Control V. Connect U. Back to walking. So, at first, you see, as soon as I press it, he stutters his walk. Um, so we'll have to set up a condition for that. You can see it's... Uh, but if I hit F, change it to Salute, Exit. That didn't work the way I wanted to. Disable movement. Also, probably not the way that I want to do it. Enable. No. Set movement mode back to walking.
probably also not the way I want to do it. So, F, salute, exit, and I'm still walking. Character movement. Um, let's try another method. Deactivate and activate. I think what the problem is, is it's... Let's deactivate it. And just not turn it back on. Alright, so it does stop me completely. at that point. But if I just turn it back on at the end, activate, it's not completing the animation montage before it's allowing me to move, so I just may have to put a delay in there. See, there is no montage, so it still stutters. Yeah, we're going to have to do something different there. Um, default in my... Yep, that's fine. Play animation montage. See, I don't want to use that one. I wanted to use that one. And I'll come back to this. When I press this, I want to play the default emote. And skeletal mesh component. Um, shouldn't have to, but let's get a reference to the mesh. Salute. All right, well, it does it. And now I have the on complete. I can actually come in here now and set movement mode. To none. Character movement. Bring this back over to here. Run this off of on completed. And set it back to walking. All right. There is no montage. So what we're going to have to do is... Let's see. Does it, and now I can walk again. So now if I'm running around and I hit to do the thing, it forces me to stop and allows me to continue when I do that. Um, um, We need a default emote. That's just the simplest way of doing it. Um, so what I'll do is create another montage so that I have as a default. So pedestrian, let's wave. Hi. Okay. Wave zero one. Let's create a new variable 
call this default. Let's go back in here. Create animation montage. Get all the extra junkola. And move it over to here. So now we have wave one. Delightful. And wave one. Save. Okay. So now we can go back to our player, go to our default, and select wave. Compile and save. So if we do that, it stops us, we wave, and now we can continue. Yay! Works as intended. Hit F, change our uh, default emotes, and now we can salute. And resume. Delightful. So now all my emotes that I want to work for this emote list will end up going inside of here. The widget will then, for each one, like emote 2, I will Let's go back to the designer, emote 2, let's change this back to wave 1, and go back to our graph, emote 2, on clicked and see default is there now so I will do control C drag you it's already added to my list now as I add more things I'm gonna have to move things around here um, so let's actually move this down now because we're gonna end up having to need more room and it's going to be Default is now our default emote. Okay. So this is not going to be seen, but when we're in here, we run around, hit F, we can set it to wave one or salute. So we'll do that. Again, salute. We're good. Hit F, change it to one. Hit our Emote button, and there we go. Hi. Hi. Sorry. Um, F. But salute. There we go. So complicated. Right? Nope. No, it's not. Alright, now for a more complicated one. Let us find their push-up. Idle, end, and start. Alright, I am going to right-click on start, create animation montage, I am going to move this to the montage folder, Change that. Get rid of start. So it's going to be push up. Start. Push up idle. And end. So, in the montage, he drops down, does the push-up, um, let's control Z, I'm actually going to do, gets down, does one, and then he would get back up again. So I'm actually going to put in a second idle, so he does two push-ups, let's do one more, so he does three push-ups, and then we're done. So now, he drops down, does one, two, 
three, and then gets back up. So now we have a push up montage. New variable. Push up. And then we can come in here. Push up. Save. Emote widget. And you see it's right there. So we'll go to here. Emote three. Push ups. Let's do it in all caps. Whatever. And we'll do that one in all caps. So there. Emote three is push ups. Unclicked. Control C, Control V. And we'll change it to push ups. Compost and save. So now, as we're running around, if we just do the emote button, we have a default. It's always going to work. Hit F. Select our push ups. Exit. So now, if we're running around, we can hit that. It'll drop down two and three. As soon as he's done, we can start walking again. Yay! And there was much rejoicing. And we can go back to waving. Hi! Sorry. Dork. Yeah. Pretty easy to set up. Um, let's actually create sit-ups. We got face palm. Let's do face palm. Uh, uh, yeah. Fist bump is kind of hard to do because y you want to actually make that actually work right. So just doing a fist bump and throw your bump out there and not getting any fist back. All right, create animation montage. Move here. We want to add a new variable. You can come back and reorder these however you want to. Um, the hell did I just create? Um, wow, my brain just totally shut down. Face palm. Yeah, I need to face palm. Um, face palm. Oh. Save. Emote widget. So that's three, four, and five. So this will be number four. Face, palm, oh, all caps. Face, palm. So now we're on emote four. Boop. It's all there, so control C, control V. Connect it. Face, palm. Compile, save. And let's do the last one, being the setups. Well, let's go ahead and test it. Run around. Default is wave. Hit F. Do a face palm. Exit. Mm, yeah. Push ups. Everything works. Now, this is not replicated. Um, I haven't done anything to replicate this yet, so keep in mind I'll fidget with that whenever I get done doing these. I'll make it work where it's replicated. It can be in part two. 
Oh, Walleen. Thinking. Thumbs up. Thinking. Thinking. Two. Three. Taking a picture with a phone. Camera. Sprawl out. Sneeze. That's definitely one I'll add in later. Schmokin. Sit up. Um, end, idle, and start. Run start. Create animation montage. Dump it in the montage folder. Set up. Okay. So again, all we did was go to setup. Idle is the actual setups. We'll do one, two, and three, and then end. Got one setup. Two set up, three set up, get your ass up. Good to go. Save, close, move variable. Gotta scroll down now. Sit up, set up montage, save, remote widget, go to designer. Number five is no longer going to be pending. Sit ups. Come back over here. Remote five on clicked. Control V. And sit ups. Compost. Save. Play. Our default still works. F, do setups. Key bindings will change. Um, the menu definitely, oh shit. Um, well, that's interesting. Um, I'm running my hands are off the keyboard. So, what we need to do is. When we hit that, <coughs> we hit that F key. We are going to have to stop our character. Um, let's go to character movement. Set movement mode to none. Compost and save. Go to our widget. Come back up to our exit button. We're setting our input mode. Um, we also are going to need to cast to <coughs> Excuse me. Our player. Get player character. And get movement mode. Movement base. We need to get character movement. And we want to set movement mode to walking. Um, so we need to disable movement because that was kind of shitty. It, um, if you're running, 
and you hit this, it needs to stop your character. I cannot move at, at all. Do push ups, exit, and now I can move again. Hit F, I stop, and now I can go. And we work. All right. That was easy enough. So, that's the next problem. <laughs> we can jump and then do that. So, what we need to do is add another condition in. Can we do the emote? Um, can emote? Question mark. We need to make that a boolean. And let's set that to true by default. And come find our jump. Um, All right. Let's actually look in animation mont not animation montage, the animation blueprint character. Um, we're still using this. Yeah. Um, blueprint update animation is an error. It's falling. Huh. Hmm. Well, that's another good one. Because in here, uh, we want to disable being able to do the emote. And actually, I'll say that for part two. Because for some reason, my air conditioner is not kicking on, and it got hot. Anyhow. But for now, we know that we stop moving when we do our emote. But we need to at chair sit down. is in air. So what we want to do is if we're not in the air then we can do the emote. I'm going to come back to that. Um, is on ground Return value would then be a branch. And we want to set um, think about what you're doing. Troubleshooting is the fun part. Okay. So, we got to still feed this in line somewhere. Um, is moving on ground. No, I wanted is on ground. Let's go with is falling. 
Because technically when we're jumping, we're falling. True there. If we are falling true, then we cannot do the emote. Um, guess technically we could run this in as a function or we could run this in as a um, custom event. If you do this, right click and collapse to function. You can make it a function that way. Um, let's try it as a custom and we'll do a jump test or check. And we can't pass through. Um, shit. Because we have no pin on this side. If I come in here and do jump, check. Yeah, we do. Okay. Just for shits and grins. I'm going to shove that in there and see if it works. However, we need this to be the default pin. Um, eh, it's not going to work. It's not going to work. Nope. Um, let me close these two down. Done with those for now. Not what I wanted. Well, it's what I want. It just doesn't work the way I want. Um, you know what? Uh, inputs. is falling. Still may not be what I want. Um, no. Come on and save. I will come back to that. I, I will I will sleep on it and come up with a good way of, of resolving that issue. And there's a couple different ways that I can do it and probably need to go through the um the animation blueprint and check the states there. Um but I consider there's a half dozen ways I can do it. But for now we have a working system here to where I can hit Q, do the emote, works fine. I mean, it's going to bug me until I fix it. It really is. And that's the thing about um, doing these things. Troubleshooting is, for me, part of the fun. Let's do is jumping... Is jump providing force? No. Um, I, I thought it was a is on ground, and I'm sure that there is. Ground is moving on ground, but I swear there was actual, you know. You're not moving. That's a nav movement. Character movement, walking. <coughs> mm. 
yeah, there, there, there was another way of doing this. And I've done it before, I thought this way. But... And I'm coming off of character movement. Find floor. And walking. Walkable floor angle is good if you're trying to make an area harder for a player to climb, or if you're wanting them to slide off of something. You can change that temporarily. Set walkable floor Z. Yeah, I'll come up with a better way of doing it. Um, for now, though, it does work. Everything else works. That's the only thing that needs to be fixed is you fix it where if you hit the F key and see that's the thing is we need it to work for the F key and for the Q key. Um, so we go into this. It needs to put you back on the ground and stop your movement. So you need to be on the ground before you can actually do your emote. Because if you do this, you can freeze yourself in the air temporarily. And if a player can do something, they're going to. Especially if it's not something they're meant to do. So what we need to do is... You see, now I'm in the air, and when I do the emote, so F and Q keys both need to check to see if the character's on the ground or is falling. So you can't do that and then freeze in the air. So I'll come up with a good way of doing that. But for the most part, that was an easy enough way. The actual meat of the video of what I wanted to show was setting up the basics of the menu so that you can actually create um, and this one is for setting up a default animation for so right now if I hit play my default is going to be that my default emote animation will be to stop and wave hit the F key and you can change that close the menu. I'll probably change it where you hit the F key again and toggle the menu on and off. So now I can salute, go back in here, I can change it to push-ups. To have a functional menu for changing your default on your uh, emote. Hitting the same button over and over again deserves a face palm and setups be the last one now something like this if you're creating a system for your players to unlock more this would just be a good starter system uh, you've got your game instance save game game mode uh, you could set up all kind of different things to where players can unlock their emotes they can get a, a custom power up or whatever you want for conditions. Um, yeah, there's just so many things that you can do to to work with something like this instead of just a, a list. I mean, I could take this same win menu and put it up in the, the top screen. Uh, we could also do remote widget. Could take this vertical box and shove it up here. Change the anchor to upper right hand corner, compost and save, and now it's going to be there in the window. So this blue border is going to show where it is on the screen. So, what I want to do also could add another button in here test. 
or when you hit the button it actually plays the animation see what we're doing here is in our player character we don't need that open we press the Q key we're playing our default animation and another way of doing this is just triggering this animation so what we can do is add custom event play default emote and create a custom event and let's break this node move that up here now which will probably work out for me even better later on set up replication and crap like that so let's play default emote so now we can trigger this that way so now when we run that custom event we press Q to run this custom event so now we can come in here and on click we can add on to the end of this get our player character so all we have to do now is just um, play default emote because we're setting that default emote and we can actually no we'll leave it like that so let's see if this actually works or if I just broke everything by adding this in here um, so we do emote one which is salute so if we do this this is a default um, it's good hit F we hit salute it does it and it works now it's good to go escape and now all we need to do is control C and control V plug you in and plug you in so now when you select it you're gonna get a preview of it you can actually see it So now we will have every one of them done the same way. It's four. And five. Connect you, connect you, and connect you to there. Beautiful. Now what I want to see is, okay, we know this is our default is wave. With the F key, salute, wave, push up. So now we got this up here, but here's the thing: is that window is up. We cannot move. We can't do anything with our, our mouse, but select things this is just going to preview and set our default emote so let's put it back on face palm exit now we're running around everything's good now yay it worked so now in the next video what i'll do is i'll come back in because we're at the one hour mark is we need to fix that so we need to make sure that we're on the ground before we can actually do that all right so let's hit save all make sure everything is good to go play your base let's go back to our main map which was test map makes sense right hit play okay uh, Two. 
Room one. Let's go back to the lobby. Let's go up to the loft. Sit down in a chair. Yay, and there was much rejoicing. But here's another thing I'm gonna look at. Doing the emote while we're in the chair. We'll break it to where now you can slide around and do that. So, one more thing to, to get rid of. I know. So, that's two problems. So, jumping and while sitting, got to fix those two things. Because we don't want you being able to do that. We want you to be able to sit down and get up and not be able to do those emotes while you're actually sitting down. Because that's definitely a face bomb situation. Sad insinuation. Gotta love it. So, that's it. We have two problems left to fix. Going into that menu screws everything up. screws everything up. And you can't... You, you gotta be by the chair to trigger getting back up again. So yeah, that's gonna have to be fixed. So, a couple little minor problems. But, definitely... Definitely something doable. And while we're already doing it, let's change it. Alright, so now we hit the button. We're set. Okay, good enough for me. Uh, there are those couple little small bugs that i got to fix to sort out the chair situation and being able to do the emote while in the air. So we'll worry about that tomorrow. I just want to do this video to show how to set up a default um, emote system and a... Uh, a menu with preview of what your default animation is going to be for your emote. So with that I say bye bye